Hello everybody, in this video I just wanted to make a really simple and brief video comparing the Chime card to the Robinhood debit card. And I also just wanted to go ahead and start off by saying that these are very different. Chime is more geared towards banking, whereas Robinhood is a lot more geared towards being a, bro a stock brokerage. But that being said, they can do a lot of the same things with the um, Chime debit card as well as the Robinhood debit card. And I'm really just gonna show some informational slides about Chime and then kind of talk about Robinhood along the way, but be sure to stick around to hear why I think Robinhood card may actually be better at the end, even though it's a little bit different. But Chime has seen some really great feedback because of the different features available to it that I'm gonna go over. Um, one of the first features is that you can get paid with direct deposit up to two days early, which you're seeing that more and more nowadays with different banks, but it's still a great feature. And this is actually a really cool one too, that there's no overdraw fees on the Chime card um, and that they will spot the purchase. But on the Robinhood debit card, you actually cannot even purchase if you don't have the money on your account. So I guess it's not really a win here. And you're able to withdraw cash at 38,000 plus free ATMs. And you have the ATM map that you can view uh, through Chime. But Robinhood actually has the same feature and they have about twice as many free locations. Either way, you're probably going to have ATMs in your town probably within 10 minutes from you that you're going to be able to withdraw for free. But it's definitely nice with the Robinhood um, debit card that you do have more choices. And then here in the middle, you can see that the Robinhood debit card is actually available for free to withdraw cash at 75,000 free ATMs across the US, as well as 15,000 free international ATMs, which is pretty interesting and really nice if that's uh, important to you. I'm guessing the Chime debit card doesn't have nearly that many international ATM free locations. And I kind of already mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but Robinhood is really more geared towards um, stocks. So you're only able to invest your idle cash. You can set up direct deposit like you would with a bank, but um, it's still just going to be your idle cash in your account that's available for use. The cash that's not available or not used and invested in stocks. But the huge upside with the Robinhood debit card is you do earn interest on your idle cash. So I've already earned $6 and I got the card in January, which is actually pretty low because the Fed cut rates down to 0% uh, earlier this year because of COVID. But before that in January, it was at 1.8%, which is like a really high yield savings account. And it's just on your debit card, which is really, really awesome. Um, there's really no bank, traditional bank that's offering that kind of interest. So that's definitely the best thing that the Robinhood debit card has going for it. And I'm sure once the Fed increases rates, which may not be for a couple of years, um, it'll be a lot more attractive to a lot more people. And then just to wrap up, this is the coolest feature available on Chime, in my opinion. And it's really kind of taking the role of Venmo or PayPal, where you can send money instantly to friends, which I think is going to be a huge business for them and one of the features that really sets them aside from their peers. Anyways, sorry that was all over the place, but I hope you were able to get some good information out of it. Um, subscribe for more content. I make a ton of brief stock analysis videos, so be sure to come and check those out. And thank you so much for watching to the end.